This is the High School Crossfire. Welcome back. All the panel observed. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. My name is Honorable Mike Golden from Lamo College. Coming here to cross-examine my affirmative. Therefore, now we go straight to the ex cross-examination questions. Madam Honorable, do you believe that your team learned from the past but they are not all very careful? No. <laughs> do you believe that history is a dangerous tool if, pla if placed in a way? It's not. Do you believe that irrigation is set near a water source? No, in a dry land. History is learned and if and it results into violence, right? No. Does learning history not helping in problem solving? Pardon? Does learning history not helping in problem solving? It helps. Do you believe that those who ignore, ignore history are future? Yes. Did you learn a lesson from it? No. <laughs> Do you believe in history? 
No. Do you make notes in class? Yes. And do you go back reading those notes? I beg your pardon? Do you go back reading those notes? Do you revise them? No. Is history taught in your school? No. Do you know why history is taught? No. Do you believe that experience is the best teacher? No. Thank you so much. My dear judges, the house at large, if you can write notes, students, we are here, and you fail to go and revise them, when exams comes, you're most likely to fail it. We, we do go and revise because we don't want to fail. Team Negatives came here saying that we said history helps in problem solving. We didn't say that, that it helps in solving the mistakes, but we said it helps in making us not to repeat the same mistake that we made in the past time and again. If you know that it rains in July, it is already history. Now you know you have to plant your crops in July. Why would you forget your history? Then you plant in June. You end up harvesting little. Where, where, where is the future of Uganda if you're just coming here to give us policies? We are not believing in that at all. You came here just repeating our points. That learning history does not prevent us, does not stop us from repeating the past mistakes. But you gave us no alternative. Now what do we do? Apart from learning history, what do we do? We needed you to clarify that one. We all know that our past gives us experience. Our present is just like experiment to us. And our tomorrow is like expectation. Then why don't you use your experience in the experiment to get what you expect? Only a fool will keep doing the same thing time and again, expecting different results. We are not being pulled down and we are not shined down. We are still standing to say that if we forget our past, we are most likely to be trapped by the future. If you don't have your past, you don't have history, then you have no future. We all learn from our past. Of course, if today I move along the road and fall in a pit, then tomorrow again I come and forget that there was a pit there. Most likely I'm going to fall in that same pit again. World War I and World War II was just because the people who did World War II had failed, had forgotten the history of World War I. And if we are not careful, if we are not careful, if we don't stick to, the, to, to what we learned about the effects of World War I and World War II, we are just about to have the next World War III. So, learn from yesterday, live for today, and up for tomorrow. Thank you so much. I rest my guest. The reason of us why we are here is because of what we are seeing right now. These two teams have presented what Crossfire, high school Crossfire is. All debaters who are remaining, you have a second chance. Please, you see these two teams? I don't know what to say. I'm going to buy them a soda, all of them. Yes, good afternoon everyone. Uh, when the debaters know their speaker roles, you are getting there. Though there's something still small here missing. But I want to say it was a good show. Let us, let us clap for them again. Uh, 
as we have seen the uh, farmers battle it out, their farmers have a, bad, a burden of proof. And when you have that burden of proof, you also need to respond to certain rebuttals that are made and build it up. And also after building it up, give the alternative. But I don't want to speak much about that, but let us know that for those who will move on, speaker roles, knowing the resolution, understanding it, don't leave a loophole to your opponent by not clarifying certain issues that have been raised. I repeat, speaker roles. I want to appreciate the fourth speaker on the affirmative side that tried to build the team up, really. Let's clap for the fourth speaker. I want also to thank the, the, the fourth speaker on the negator side, on their styles of cross-examination and all the presentation. Let us clap for him. All the teams are good but there are certain errors that need to be corrected for those who will succeed. May the best team win. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is important to note that whenever we are in debate and then we reach a certain level of equilibrium, I mean, both teams execute their duties. All speakers execute their duties and all the submissions are very good. Now, what do the judges do? The judges sit down and they look at Despite the fact that all the teams were good, now which team was excellent in what they did? All together. And that's why you find out that even when the final results for this session that we have had are given, the winning team will have a very small winning margin to the team that has been defeated. You get the point. Now what was the clash point in this resolution? The negative, actually the negators came here and they were like, we have looked at the history. There were wars before. But there are still wars going on. And then the farmers came and were like, yes, despite the fact that those wars are still there, they are minimal from what was taking place. Meaning there has been a lesson that has been learned from the history. What is my main point? Now let us build on what we call persuasion. Because now at the end of the day, we are going to look at the persuasion. I thank you. Let's have the final results. So, back to me again. I'm really impressed. My journey from Kampala to here has not gone a waste. My transport has not gone a waste after I've seen this. Seriously, I'm really, really impressed. Now, when uh, we are faulting all these things and giving credit to all these judgments, we do person by person, but because of matter of time, we sometimes write them down. But I now just go to the speaker roles direct. Now that goes to the farmers. Your girls, young girls, you have tried to execute this boy, showing this boy, you know what, you cannot do it. We are here. If not for your fourth speaker, for heaven's sake, if not for your fourth speaker, because the fourth speaker came and played the role of number two, giving the parameters, and outlined the agriculture point of it. And we said, okay, now they're in line. Now, to the negators, the first speaker came and nailed it. That is what a debate is. Even though you have a weak person, let me give you an advice. Let the first speaker and the last one be people who are playmakers. The first speaker came, I love the tone, I love the sound, the voice. All of you were good, perfect. Smartness, perfect. Everything, perfect. <laughs> now, that's why it's not a unanimous decision from the judges. Because when we say unanimous decision from the judges, is all the three judges have decided. So we have a loophole in that one of the judges is in this side, the two judges are in the other side. So, the affirmative, you have a 68%. 
all the two judges, they have given you 68 percent. To the negators, you have a 69 percent. Wait. Now listen, this is the funny part of it. It's a one percent defeat. And it's just because of the speaker roles, maybe, and content and such. Now, remember, listen, guys, we are taking two teams to Kampala. And we are not going to have octos. This goes to the patrons. We are going to regard the points. So right now, you can even be defeated, yes, but your points take you to Kampala. Have you seen the funny part of it? So... Teams which are inside here work for the points, not even winning. You can even win the two debates, but you fail to go where? To Kampala because of what? Your final points. So work with what we call points. Congratulations, guys. You are demanding your soda. I have to see you through. Thank you.